Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Tyler, and today I'm going to be diving into another Season 4 theory since you guys like these, and today I'm going to be going over why Tori may potentially beat Sam the next season. But Tyler, how can Tori win? Sam beats her up all the time, and now that she's training with not only Daniel, but also Johnny, who both beat up Chris, by the way, so therefore that means Sam is already stronger, and who should potentially always be stronger than Tori, which applies to the All Valley, which means Sam's going to- Shut up, dumbass. I'm going to be going over why from a story perspective it makes sense for Tori to win, and and we're going to be comparing other rivalries in the series to not only justify and back up my theory, but also just me just explaining why I think this theory works and makes sense. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let's dive into it. Now, this theory is something that people have been questioning, at least I've seen a few people do so, and so I decided to think about it, and, you know, just a little bit more thinking on this theory and putting more thought into it, I think this theory legitimately could work. Now, I mentioned this briefly in the intro, how I'm going to be comparing other rivalries to kind of back up this theory, and the main rivalry, obviously, at hand is the rivalry between their old exes, that being Robbie and Miguel. You see, Robbie and Miguel have had two fights over the course of two seasons, similar to what Sam and Tori have had. Miguel won the first one, while in the second one, Robbie technically won because Miguel showed mercy. You guys are probably thinking, well, that's completely different from Sam and Tori, where Sam has won two times. But at that point, I just think it would be kind of too predictable for Sam to win a third time, and we know Cobra Kai likes to pull their twists. They know what they're doing. And you guys are probably thinking, well, shouldn't Tori have more buildup towards this? You know, how is she going to basically beat Sam? Like, how is she going to legitly be stronger than her? This got me thinking, and then I decided to conclude that, honestly, I think Tori and just overall her drive and motivation is going to be what drives her to actually beat Sam and her tenacity. I mean, think about it. She has way more motivation to try and beat up Sam than Sam to beat up Tori. I mean, sure, she broke into their house, but Sam already kind of like dealt with that by beating her the second time. We know even when Sam disarms Tori, Hawk, Miguel, and Dimitri have to go in and disrupt the entire fight from stopping Tori. Tori has her fists up and ready to go. Even when she doesn't have a weapon, she's still gonna try and fight Sam. This is strong will and drive and determination that Kreese would take an interest to. Not to mention now that Robbie's here, which I definitely think in season four, Robbie and Tori are just going to get together. I think it was definitely a given in season three. The similarities are there, and I think it's I think it's definitely going to happen. And I think this relationship would even just make Tori want to beat Sam even more to just show off in front of her boyfriend, aka Sam's ex. Tori is pure Cobra Kai material, and Cobra Kai is all about being disrespectful and a rat. And honestly, getting with Sam's ex and just overall having Robbie support Tori over Sam and Robbie just watching Tori try and brutally hurt Sam and Robbie not doing a thing is something that would just satisfy Tori. And I know some of you in the comment sections are going to be like, but Tori's just a kid. She's not a psychopath. Bullshit, bro. She literally was willing to go into someone's house, breaking into their house to try and literally kill Sam. And not to mention, she was willing to try and fight her even when she had a staff and she was kicking her ass when Tori had nunchucks. Oh, are we going to forget a season prior where she literally was going to murder Sam? Oh, also, let's go back a season after season two, season three, where she talks to Miguel and she believes her just getting revenge on Miyagi-Do and doing all these bad things to them is right. Tori is someone who believes in the philosophy of just fighting for what's yours no matter what, which is also pure Cobra Kai material. Strike first, strike hard, no mercy. And Tori will do that defending everything she has. Now, to go back on the old Robbie, Miguel, and Sam, Tori rivalry correlation point, I wanted to address this. There's just no way Sam beats Tori three times. It's too predictable. I just, I have to say that again. Like, you can't just have Sam completely just beat Tori Tori three times. There's no way Tori has all this drive and motivation and she just loses. Also, now that Cobra Kai has lost people like Hawk, the only powerhouses are now Robbie and Tori, so these two are going to be pushed the most. Also, another point to kind of push Tori beating Sam, and me going back to the whole Robbie and Tori, you know, relationship theory, you know, I'm, I'm going all over the place, but just hear me out, just follow me, guys. 
I think maybe Tori might use Robbie to potentially distract Sam or maybe use Chris and maybe Chris will give off some advice similar to what he gave to Johnny back in the 80s. Only this time, Tori will embrace her Cobra Kai way. And just like how Johnny got two to two with Daniel by ratting, I think this is how Tori is going to get the points. And I also think this is also going to be a loss on Sam's part as well, because I think Sam is going to kind of get those mind scars again, and maybe she'll get PTSD once again, and maybe that'll make her frazzle. I just definitely think, I think potentially a combination of Sam herself, Tori embracing her Cobra Kai way, while Sam is struggling to embrace her Miyagi-Do way, and Kreese and Robbie, Tori's boyfriend, aka Sam's ex, will be distracting Sam, and maybe that can also help open up the mind scars. I just think it's so possible for Tori to win. And I think we've been having a little bit of symbolism going on. See, it would be a pattern for Season 4 if Cobra Kai wins in general, right? Because Season 1, Cobra Kai won against Miyagi-Do. Season 2, Miyagi-Do won. Season 3, technically Miyagi-Do won or Miyagi Fang now, but now in season 4, if Miyagi Fang just wins again, it wouldn't be a pattern, however, if Cobra Kai won, it would be a pattern, see, it would go Cobra Kai, Miyagi-Do, Miyagi-Do, Cobra Kai. I know that's like a big question in itself, and maybe you guys are thinking, well, maybe Miyagi-Do winning three times and Cobra Kai winning only one time is a good pattern, but I disagree. I definitely think 1-2-2-1 two, two, one is a way more significant pattern or a way more likely pattern than 1-2-2-2. Two, two, two. I know it sounds wild, like I'm, I'm talking about fucking patterns now, I know I'm getting a little weird with this theory, but I just think it's so possible for Cobra Kai to win, and not to mention, if they're planning to have six seasons of this show, there's no way Miyagi-Do just wins and Kreese leaves. And not to mention, Terry Silver's also gonna be in this, which means Cobra Kai is gonna be having additional training, and we know Terry Silver, the Quicksilver method, that's just something that Robbie and Tori are definitely gonna enjoy. Like, I think the season is just going to be building up Tori and Robbie as a relationship and them as martial artists just attaining their prime forms in this season and winning against Miyagi-Do. And with that being said, that is my prediction for the Tori vs. Sam All-Valley match, which is, I think, going to be the build-up to, you know, another big fight for their rivalry. And I think after this season, I think the rivalry is going to have a break. And I think Tori embracing her true Cobra Kai way, and I think season 4 might just be Tori's best season and her time to shine. That kind of goes for Cobra Kai in general, or Team Crease, whatever you want to say. I think they're just going to get a lot of love this season. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like, share it with your friends, and be sure to leave a comment on what other theories I should do, along with other Cobra Kai video suggestions. Subscribe if you are new, as the majority of my viewers aren't subscribed. You clearly like the content, so go ahead, just hit the subscribe button. And with that being said, be sure to hit the bell icon so you are updated and notified when I upload. And YouTube likes to be very strange with how they notify people about YouTubers. So yeah, just hit the bell icon. And I will see you guys in the next video. I'm going to catch y'all later. My name is Ty Learn, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice rest of the day, people.